the actual Lycathian suicide bomber we've got in League. To counter him, pick someone like Lucian who can get in range, dodge all his stuff and burst him down quickly. Misfortune can stand back and let her E and Q deal all the damage for her. Also if she ults, good luck for him getting out of the way. And Ash is also a really simple counter who can just stun his face if he decides to get greedy. Ezreal for his mobility, Jinx for her passive, and Draven for his early damage make other good counters as well. Kog'Maw's passive turns him into a half-living skeleton whenever he dies that explodes after a brief delay and deals true damage to all nearby targets. His Q passively grants him extra attack speed and when activated will fire a projectile that deals magic damage and shreds some of the target's resistances. His W grants him extra range on his autos and will also make them deal extra magic damage for 8 seconds. His E makes him vomit, creating a pool of spew that deals magic damage on hit and slows enemies standing on top of it. Finally, his ultimate will make him launch balls of acid into the air that fall into target location after a brief delay, dealing more damage to low health targets. Each use of this within 8 seconds costs 40 more mana, so he'll be manaless pretty soon if he starts using it. He's quite strong in the lane if he's got a rather supportive support that can buff and shield him, but if it's an independent one like Leona who just wants to engage, be sure to focus him down and end his miserable squishy life soon. In terms of spells, he's an AD carry, so you'll probably see him run flash heal, and so will you if you're playing in the ADC position. As for power spikes, this is one of those champions that will completely wreck your entire team if he manages to get in late game, so be aware of that. His mid game is nothing special, but he can also be a pain to deal with in the laning phase. He doesn't have many level power spikes, although maxing W grants him enough range to deal damage from really far away. Ginzu's is a game changer for him in terms of damage, and Wit's End will turn him into a living artillery worthy of its name. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, he has no escaping abilities, so focus him in team fights quick before he causes you any harm. Don't forget about his exploding passive after you're done fighting him, and notice it when his W is down because his range will significantly drop. Ultimately, have fun doing it.